Good afternoon, Kathy. I got up this morning and I found this waiting for me, which is an integral dishwasher. Not a very standard one. Told me to take it all to pieces and see how much copper we've got in there. And absolutely everything will be taken out, um, copper wise, and then add it all up afterwards. Right, it's all taken apart. So, what we've got is a couple of bits of stainless here, big pile of wiring. And there's the motor. Hopefully, that's copper in there. Or a couple of solenoids and big pile of steel. And I'll put the the amounts of those up at the end. Also, we got a great big pile of plastic. So that will be off to the recycling skip at work. So now I'm going to get to work on this lot and we'll see how much copper we've got. So I'll catch you in a bit. Well, we're back again. I had so much excitement taking apart the dishwasher. And now we can see what we had as far as copper goes. And I'll run through the other metals as well. So we can all see how much there is inside a dishwasher. So we start with the, the motor, which luckily was full of copper. And I have got every single piece of copper out of this. Then we have the solenoids. And then we have the wire. That's all the cabling that was inside. And then we have some very little pieces. There's the fuse and what was on the on the circuit boards. And then some a very small amount of tin coated copper. Which comes in at 569 grams of copper inside a dishwasher. There was about 23 kilos of steel and a couple of kilos of stainless steel. And we had a small amount of aluminium, which is that, which was surrounding the motor. 177 grams. And then the brass, which was on the ends of the wire and inside a couple of parts on the circuit board for 58 grams. So there we go, all in all, not bad. It's just over half what you'd find in a washing machine. So I'll see what I'm going to do next time. Thanks for watching and keep scrapping.